What's going on everyone? My name's Eric and today on the channel I'm going to show you how you can sound pretty close if not identical to Zach Wilde by using just guitar amp plugins. Something that I loved to do when I was younger and getting into music and a lot of the different guitar heroes that inspired me was honestly just trying to sound like them and recreate those tones with the tools that I had. And if you wanted to have the exact rigs of some of those favorite guitar heroes like Zach Wilde, Dimebag, Lexi Laiho, or whoever else that you really idolize, you would go down the rabbit hole to realize that the guitar rigs that your favorite guitar players are using are actually pretty expensive. And as you can see on screen, you know the big basis of Zach Wilde's tone being a Marshall JCM 800 is pretty expensive on the used or the new market and especially if you want that signature Marshall JCM 800 Zach Wilde model that's going to run you a pretty penny and not everyone has the ability to afford something of that high of value and let alone honestly just use a tube amp in modern day scenarios think of it like owning an old sports car there's only so many places you can really drive it and only so many times out of the year that you can really drive it but thanks to modern technology we have plugins and that has really changed the game for a lot of us and especially with some guitar players not even plugging into a tube amp or a guitar amp in general and they only know plugins but for the purpose of today's video I want to show you how you can kind of take Zach Wilde sound and recreate it using digital tools and kind of use them whenever you want and show you how you can get album ready guitar tones to play along with your favorite artists um, actual tracks or you can actually just record your own killer guitar tones as it is so with all that being said let's hop into the demo track <laughs> Now I might be a little bit biased because I made the guitar tone and I made this video and everything like that, but I really think that the guitar tone that I made really captures that iconic Zach Wilde sound and it can be used to cover a lot of different Zach Wilde based guitar tones that he's used throughout his career with Black Label Society, Zach Wilde, you know, and doing Pride and Glory. Um, Ozzy Osbourne and obviously with Pantera. Zach Wilde's rig really hasn't changed more or less since he started back in the day with Ozzy and Pride and Glory. I'm going to show some pictures on screen of Zach Wilde's rig and kind of how it's changed throughout the years but the premise of his rig is essentially a Marshall JCM 800 and some of his Marshall JCM 800s have been modded you know different output tubes and things like that but essentially a Marshall JCM 800 going into either vintage 30s which is probably what he started out with then moving to those electro voice black label speakers those around 300 watts a piece. They're not too common to come by and if you are looking to buy them they do command a pretty penny even though you can still buy them brand new that's kind of like the main amp tone and a lot of that has really stayed the same for a good chunk of time the pedals have really stayed the same for Zach Wilde as well you know he has an overdrive pedal which he uses to kind of goose the front end of the amp chorus pedal and obviously take it or leave it um, I'm a fan of chorus on the guitar tone and I know a lot of people aren't but that is the Zach Wilde signature sound form and you need a wah pedal for the most part to get that iconic Zach Wilde sound and of course you do need a guitar that more or less has EMG pickups and a mahogany body but I'm pretty sure most guitars with different pickups and wood combinations will pretty well get you close. Now even thinking back to where I started as a guitar player and you know getting my first amp and trying to get all these different guitar tones with you know the tools that I had at my fingertips at the time it was kind of limiting in some way shape and form and then I thought to myself well Maybe I could just try and find one of these, you know, amps and everything like that and try and find this rig and recreate it. But it's not realistic because of so many different factors, whether it's price and the accessibility and the attainability of gear. And a lot of, you know, some gear at this point in time is just unobtainium or it's just way too expensive. And obviously, like, where do you play this stuff? Because if you don't have, you know, like I had gracious parents who lend out their basement 
for myself and my bands to jam there and make a bunch of noise or turn up the amp when, you know, they were out of the house. Like, not everyone has that luxury, and, you know, I'm fortunate to say that I did. I eventually moved into my own jam space and was able to do that, but then as life goes on, some people just don't really have the ability to get into a jam space, and obviously they don't have the ability to crank up a tube amp in their apartment. So the next best thing, thanks to technology, is obviously going to be plugins because you can turn them down and you can kind of put headphones on and have this awesome guitar tone in your speakers, in your headphones, and you're not going to annoy your neighbors. You can use it whenever you want. You don't have to mic up a cabinet and crank an amp to get a really good guitar sound, or you don't have to wear earplugs for this stuff because it sounds good pretty well at every level which is kind of what I wanted to achieve with today's video. And obviously let me know in the comments below if you like the tone and if it's getting close and everything like that. But as I said earlier, I think I really came close to getting Zach Wilde's guitar tone and I wanted to share it all with you. So let's hop into the plugin and just learn a little bit more about it and why I selected it. So the plugin of choice for myself is gonna be Neural DSP John Petrucci. And I'm sure you can kind of get some similar tones with some other plugins, but this has been my go-to plugin for quite a while and I'm just very familiar with it. I really like how it sounds and it reacts to my playing. We're gonna be on the third amp here. This is the one that sounded the best to me versus this amp here, the, I guess the white amp. This really doesn't do the Zach Wild sound even with um, you know the IRs that we're gonna be using for this as well as this one here, but then again, this is how it sounded best for me in my particular application here. So mess with it. And if you get a better tone out of this amp, if you're using the Petrucci archetype, kudos to you, and because there's no right or wrong way to get this. Tone. Got the gain cranked. Get the bite on, mid boost on. As you can see, the tone controls as they are on screen. The tight is down a little bit, and the bass is up, and the mids are kind of down. Just because Zach Wilde has a pretty big guitar tone, especially if you've ever heard his guitar tone live, it's huge. It's just a big guitar sound, so I really kind of wanted to emulate that in this particular section here. Treble and the presence are up a little just for that little bit of extra clarity. The master and the level and the output, those are all set to taste. Same with the input, that's set to taste. Be careful with the input and the output because you do risk clipping as well. I have the noise gate cranked up pretty high on here just from how my guitar signal was and the amount of gain that this whole plugin is pushing. Um, I really found it wild that uh, Zach was never using a noise gate up until Pantera. I just never understood how he can control the amount of gain that he runs and not have a noise gate. But again, it just works for him. Speaking of gain, we get the overdrive pedal here. We get the level cranked, the tone set to taste, and the drive is, I kind of brought it down a little bit. Again, like there's a ton of gain on this plugin here. So really utilize the noise gate, even though Zach Wilde doesn't use one. These settings here are kind of close to what Zach was running like on his actual overdrive pedal. I have a couple pictures that I'll throw on screen right now. So you can kind of see where his settings were. And now obviously like this isn't like the basis of the tone. This is just kind of sculpting it. But this is what I used and what I thought sounded best for this particular application. Same thing with the chorus here. Uh, these are actually Zach Wilde's settings on his own chorus that he's using in that same photo with like that MXR, like yellow stereo chorus. So we get the depth up a little bit. The level is down. The rate is up a little bit. I personally wouldn't do something like this. I like my depth all the way up. The rate, pretty low. And the level crank, like I like a pretty lush chorus. Again, these are Zach's settings. I would run it a little bit differently, but this also sounds pretty good in my opinion here. Uh, phaser and flanger, those aren't really uh, staples of Zach's tone as much as a chorus and an overdrive would be. Moving on to the speakers here in the IR section, I really love the Neural DSP layout for their cabinet sections here, whether you're using their actual like interactive cabinet or you're using a third-party IR like we are doing in today's video. This is kind of the hero of the tone, in my opinion. This is the Murder Hauler Pack from Ward Guitar Cabinet. This is an actual capture of the EV Black Label speaker, the 300 watt crazy speaker. And this, you know, sounds awesome in my opinion. And you can get this IR pack for free. So if you are on a budget and this is kind of like what you're working with here as a plugin, this is a pretty sweet IR capture and it sounds pretty awesome as well. As you can see here, I got the Murder Hauler X1A2 on the left here. I have zero idea what kind of mic that is. So if you do, let me know below. And something a bit more familiar, I got the SM57 II on the right here. So I'm kind of blending two different mics together. And even when you are using third party IRs, you still get a couple different tools here. You know, you can pan the speaker a little bit. You get different mic levels and things like that. And again, just watch out for the mic level. You might be clipping if you are using that as well. Moving over here, we got the post EQ here. This is what sounded good for me with my signal chain using the Warhammer, EMG pickups going straight in, trying to get that big Zach Wilde guitar tone. This is what worked for me. So take this as kind of like a starting point and you know run with it as much as you will. Moving on here, uh, we got this expression pedal here. That's really doing nothing there. We then have the post effects section. We got a chorus back here. I really like the sound of this chorus. And again, this is kind of why I'm using the Petrucci archetype because I like 
everything that it has to offer and it sounds amazing. There might be some other plugins out there that do the same thing, but I've been using this one for so long and I'm just so familiar with it. It just sounds fantastic to me. Now, if you are having some issues getting a good tone and a good chorus sound that you like out of the stomp box, like in front of the amp, use this one here. This one sounds really good as well. It has a couple like really simple controls here. You got vintage spatial. Real easy to use, it sounds awesome. This is kind of normally how, how I would run my chorus. And delay and reverb, just set that to taste. That's just gonna be for solos, as you just heard in the guitar track there with the, the solo in Miracle Man. One last cool thing about this is like this doubler section here. So again, if you're just playing like on your computer, on your laptop with some headphones, or even if you have studio monitors, you crank on that doubler section, it kind of like really makes a big stereo wash of the guitar. So it sounds like there's like a couple guitars going on. You can actually change that by like making the spread wider and things like that. Like that's a really cool feature about this. Like, I really like that, especially if I'm just kind of on my own, just messing around, not really recording. Like, it sounds pretty sick. Kind of sounds like you're playing almost in like a huge venue, which is pretty that is neat. more or less it for the walkthrough of this plugin. And once again, I will provide links down below so you can actually get the Murder Hauler IR pack from Ward Cabs. That's kind of the hero of this. But I do encourage you to use this IR pack with some other plugins as well. And then let me know in the comments below if you got a similar tone to what I did using this plugin here. And if you got that with maybe using something else. Now at this point, let's pull the guitar out of the mix and let's plug in a few different guitars with different tunings, different pickups. And let's just play some Zach Wild bass riffs and let's just hear how different guitars and different tunings sound with this plugin chasing Zach Wild's tone. <laughs> As you just heard, that was my take on Zach Wilde's guitar tone using some modern plugins with some different guitars. But I encourage you to try this guitar tone with some different guitars, maybe seven, eight string or baritone guitars, or guitars in different tunings, different pickups and things like that. Mess with the EQ settings and really tailor this to make it your own. Again, like this guitar tone sounds really good to me under my circumstances in my room, my recording setup and coming out of my studio speakers and everything like that. So. Take that for what you will, really tailor it to your room and your speakers and what you are hearing. And at the end of the day, I hope you learned something new and that you are maybe gonna consider using plugins to try and chase your favorite guitar player's tone. So if you like this video and you wanna see me do more other guitar hero, like tone chasing videos using different plugins, let me know in the comments below of what guitar heroes you wanna see, or even if you like this kind of series and if you just wanna see it happen again. This is something new that I'm trying because I like chasing guitar tones and I would love to know your thoughts and opinions if you like it too and if you want me to keep doing it. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I have tons more videos on my channel that go over guitar related content and guitar maintenance tips as well. So please consider subscribing if that is your thing. And if you are a returning subscriber, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time.